congratulations on your new bundle of joy and your partnership with Jeep. So first, let's just talk about how's it going being a family of six? Oh, wow. Where do you want to? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, um, there's a lot going on, Ashley. There's, there's a lot going on in our house, but, um, couldn't be happier. I mean, we have a full house and, um, every day it's something new. Kids are learning something new and it, it really is a lot of fun. Sounds like it's good timing for this partnership with Grand Wagoneer. Why did you guys want to be part of this partnership? I think first our partnership started with, with Jeep and Grand Wagoneer last October. So October of 22. And, um, Really, I mean, it's it's um, we. I've always tried to. I know Hannah as well. Tried to partner with people that uh, in companies that mean something and it's authentic. And and for us, having so many kids, <laughs> we spend a lot of time in the car, whether it's school, drop off, pick up, activities, sporting events, and um, you want to be comfortable and you want it something that's practical. And for us, we've we've trialed a few SUVs over the last few years. And I'm not just saying this, but it's Grand Wagoneer by far has been the best fit for us. So has this kind of become the parent mobile now for you guys? Oh yeah, no, no absolutely. It actually is the car that we drive our kids to school in. Like we're in it all day long pretty much because of pickups and drop-offs and you know all the activities that they have. Um, so no, we spend a lot of time in it. It's got a third row, thank goodness, because we have four car seats in our <laughs> our car so it's, it's, a, full a, lot. it's a lot we got a good sound system yeah, yeah. um but no it's it's been really it's been a really great partnership this is a relatively new model so what are your favorite features each of you do you each have a favorite feature in the car I usually say the third row because that um you know I think with with the kids it's just it was I mean we have to have it right um and then also the sound system um you can only a have huge one. you can chunk. no you you still have one that you could pick my one is the sound system because when you have to drown out <laughs> all the noise in the car then i that's what i i that's mine so you can't take okay mine. okay <laughs> He's got third row. i'm trying to drown out noise <laughs> fair enough fair enough both are important I know my niece is always trying to climb in the back of the third row of their car and she's like this is the best area are your big kids trying to be the ones in the back seat yeah we have to split them you know it's it's for the oldest two um our oldest just turned six and then four and a half so now they're they're at an age where sometimes they listen um, so you, we've sort of, we've sort of figured out the school drop off and pick up up until this point. I don't want to say we perfected it, but we, we've, we've, we're getting there. Got in a rhythm now. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I don't want to jinx it. That's why I don't want to say too much. <laughs> fair, fair. Well, speaking of parenting, congratulations on the birth of your son, Caius. He's about four months now, right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. How is he doing? He's doing good. He um he doesn't have a pacifier at the moment. So if you hear him in the background, <laughs> um, we're weaning off of that and kind of just sleep training. All he's great. He's, stuff. he's immobile right now. He's not <laughs> crawling or walking. So it, it's a lot easier to to watch him and take care of him because he can't move. So this are, you know, when you're when you're a parent, you always say, I can't wait for him to crawl. I can't wait for him to walk until it happens. And then you have to watch him 24 seven. So right now right. he's in his sweet spot. Going from two to three seems like, you know, they always say that's the hardest. So let's talk about going from three to four. Is that more challenging or was two to three harder? It's tough to say at this point, because like I said, you know, he's not moving yet. So it, it's, I, I don't know how it's going to play out once he's, he's mobile, but um, two to three is an adjustment. Like it really is an adjustment because you, you don't get a break. And um, I, I don't let's let's talk again in about five months when he's when he's running around a little bit. So it's um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for scaring us. <laughs> thanks for the question. <laughs> well, we love your girl dad moments, Derek. So what is the difference now that you have a son, though? Is a little boy different or is it just adding another one to the family? 
No, no, no. It's very different because, you know, I, I grew up, I have a younger sister and then having three girls, I, I've never, you know, I never had a brother, never had a boy around. I have a nephew, but I, I mean, in terms of having your own son, it's just, everything is, everything is different. I mean, you know what I mean? Everything is different. So it's, it's, uh, it's going to take some adjustment. Um, but I couldn't be happier. You know, I was never the guy that said, Oh, I have to have a son. I have to have a son, you know, cause I was extremely happy with, with, um, my girls. And, and, uh, now it's, it's going to be interesting to see how the dynamic plays out. Hannah, is it special to see a little mini me for Derek now that you guys have a boy? Oh, I don't know if he's a mini me or a mini you yet, but, um, no, you know, it's kind of funny. Like the infant stage for me is, is, um, oh, it's different for everyone. Um, but I think that, uh, this stage is just kind of, it's kind of funny. They're kind of like little blobs. Um, they, uh, you know, I, some moms, this is their favorite stage for me. I kind of, you know, I enjoy once they start moving around a little bit and you can sense, you know, get a sense of their personality. Um, so basically she's, saying, <laughs> basically she's saying it's a mini her. Oh, okay. All right. We that's, love it. How are big sisters, Bella story and river handling little brother? Are they doting on him or are they bossing him around already? Well, they're just trying to get their hands all over him. And I think at this stage, because he's so young, we try to like limit the exposure in a way now that they're back to school and they're bringing home all these funky little viruses. <laughs> um, but no, they're super excited. They, they're they kind of all over him. <laughs> I love that. I know in the Players' Tribune article that you're, um, the essay that you wrote, Hannah, you talked about if the kids want to play baseball, we're going to have a talk. I love that last line. <laughs> what would that talk be like? And might there be a future in baseball for your little son? Well, wow. Um, I don't know. I think we, we always talk about how we just want our kids to be happy and successful in whatever they choose to do and um, really not making that choice for them. Um, I imagine you know, there might be interest, but I, I really, I don't know. I mean, our girls now don't even really know what their dad did for a living um, up until this point. At one point, I think they thought he played golf. He was a golfer, a professional golfer, right? <laughs> Derek? <laughs> that's, that's a whole nother interview. Too. Do they think you're a pro golfer now? <laughs> no, see, you know, one thing in golf is, is you know, the, the, the most important part of playing golf is the negotiating process with your friends before you go out there, the handicap negotiation. So right. no, we, we need to strike that comment from this interview. So <laughs> no, one, no one has anything thoughts in their head about professional golfer. No, not at all. But I think just to piggyback on what, what she was saying is, you know, I want my son, I want my daughters to find something that they're passionate about. I don't care what it is. I really don't care what it is. And I, I, I would like for them to play a sport, because I think you learn a lot of life lessons playing sports, you know, we're setting goals and teamwork, working together, um, failure. I think those are things that you learn, but um, I would never push any of my kids into a particular career path. And uh, you just want them, each of them to find the thing that they're most passionate about. I love how you both uh, really put an effort into keeping their lives private, but still sharing some of these fun moments that you have with them. I know you just had the birthday party and they were giving you a manicure, Derek, in one photo. How do you strike that balance in keeping, you know, protecting their privacy, but sharing these fun, special milestones in their lives? Well, I, I mean, I don't, I'm really terrible at social media. I don't share anything. Um, but I do, I see now that he's sharing a little bit more that, you know, it is hard as, as they get older, because, you know, you we're with our kids 24 seven and it's, it's kind of hard to share your like home life without your kids because they're with you. This is what you're doing. This is your life. Um, so yeah, it's just finding that like, I don't know, that middle ground where it's like, you know, you're giving a glimpse, but not, not too much. And of course, respecting, you know, their privacy as well. Yeah. I think it, you know, privacy is number one um, for them. You, you can't, sh in my opinion, you don't share everything about your kids because they're not choosing to do it themselves. You know, I, it's not my job to make that choice for them. I can protect them 
as long as I possibly can, which hopefully is for a long, long time. But I do think certain things should not be shared and certain things should be kept private. And that's just the way I've always been. And that's the way I will continue to be. Well, we love to see your family grow and I uh, have to ask, because there are always rumors swirling, but of course there are rumors swirling right now, Derek, any <laughs> chance you could return to the Yankees in some capacity? Is there any truth to these rumors right now? What are the rumors? I don't pay attention to rumors. I really I heard don't. Some rumors. I had some colleagues here, big Yankees fans, and they were talking rumors that there might be a return to maybe the front office in some capacity. Oh, sure. or... oh, yeah. yeah, if they have four little offices right next to the one I have for my kids, then no, I, I haven't thought about it. I'm very, very happy with what I'm doing now. I'm very happy with, with spending a lot of time with my, my family and, um, it's not something that I've given any thought to. Well, it seems like your daughters are keeping you guys in check. <laughs> I loved the video of you in the car and they're basically just telling you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that. It's even worse now. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just wrap up on, you know, what do you guys have planned for the future? Anything exciting, big happening anytime soon? Or what do you have your eye on? I don't know. You know, um, school just started. <laughs> you know, our oldest starting just started first grade, which is a big jump. Mm -hmm. um, our uh, second is pre-K four, so um, we're we're in the we're in the weeds right now, going back to school. And and I don't know about you, um, but first grade is not how it was when I was in first grade. It's a little <laughs> more complicated. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, don't ask me any homework questions. I uh, can't try to do that yourself. Well, thank you both so much for your time. Exactly. And I'm sure you have the perfect really car now to get your whole family to all those practices and school events. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it.